In this video, I'll be making a lava theme level, but before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It means a lot and it really helps with the channel. And with that being said, enjoy the video. But yeah, so it, uh, I want to make like a lava theme level in this video with Burning Sands as a song. Okay, what offset are we going to use? Yeah, we can use this one actually. Uh, I want to make it like a spider challenge kind of, like a lava spider challenge, and you'll see why. Because like, I want to have like really good clink sync. So first we're going to start with like gameplay. So basically, let's like make, I want to make like kind of like these structures, and there's going to be like lava at the bottom. And basically, the structures like kind of like fall in the lava kind of. I'm going to have like objects like this with strings connected to them, like swinging kind of. Like they're going to be like swinging, you have to like go through them. That is amazing. Well, now we just gotta start decoing. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the lava, and then after lava, we'll do block deco, and then we'll do effects and everything after. We're gonna need to make a one block lava, so we'll just do five. We'll do this, this, that, that, t 110, like this. So now I gotta get the animated objects, these ones, and just start doing this. Make all that on there, and let's put us on 0 to 10. And then we can also add this tiny glow piece, like kind of like dripping type things. And we can also like just grab it and like just kind of spread it around a little bit. Like that, okay. So then uh, this, is, this is our lava, and then this will be like right here. Um, and now we are going to make the block design. Let me get some colors first. I wanna, like, I guess we can work with those colors, but I think I might need new ones. So I wanna use these objects right here. And then grab the same thing, flip it, and turn it upside down like that. I think I just use these. Copy, paste it here, but then the detail will be that. But then do like an X shape on three. Like that, yeah. So we're gonna, like, like kinda like a wooden lava style with like the wood sinking, if you know what I mean. And we got this, and then also let's add some glow, like that I guess. Grab, go over here, grab this object, one, two, we can do something like this, with this piece over it, scaled down. Put this on like a blending maybe? Yeah, this looks good, I actually like really like this design so far. Here, I actually have an idea from one of my old designs. I want to do like a yin yang symbol in the middle. Do a big circle, like that. Yeah, see, okay, yeah, it looks good, it looks good, it looks good. <laughs> So now we just gotta fill it in with blocks for the colors. Okay, that is actually sick. I actually really like this a lot. This will go right here. So now we need a 2x2, two two, a 1x1. One one. Oh no, not 1x1. One one. We just need a 2, a 1, a 5, a 6. Okay, we'll go up to 6. And then we'll just copy and paste in like everything. Also, every single one, I don't want to have the yin, yin yang symbol because I feel like it'll be way too copy and paste. So we're we'll have to make second variants of each one as well, which is going to be a nightmare. So, um, hmm, spikes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about spikes till like now. Holy crap. I'm, okay, I'm gonna do my traditional one that I do. This will be our pulsing, and then we also want like a more natural spike too, kind of. So we can use like these ones. Okay, yeah, so this spike is good. This spike is good. We have two variants of spikes, and we need smaller versions as well. Yeah, I just copy and paste them and put them down one. <laughs> it works, it's so much easier to just do that. Um, okay, so now I got our spikes, structures, and everything. So now I feel like we just basically copy and paste them everywhere. That is beautiful. Like, bu -bu 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 beautiful. Now let's do the orbs. Hmm, I want to do like kind of like a roundy thingy. You know what I'm saying? A oh, roundy thingy. I don't know what I'm entirely making yet, but I'm gonna try. Hmm, maybe something like this. Okay, for these, I'm just I'm gonna keep the wood, but I don't like the stringy part. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then here, now let's put this on all the orbs. 
Okay. Mm, it's time for animations. So in each one of the middle of the structures, it's going to be like a dot right here. And now we just make the rotating thing for all of them. Should we make them so they're moving up? Let's see here, the whole thing will be 33. This little bit right here will be 34. And that means we're gonna repeat the process. I think we should just get started on the objects, but it's gonna take ages though. Uh, I want to add pillars and rocks. So first I want to start with this. And now I'm going to do something like this. But then we have this yin yang symbol with like a huge glow piece over it. I just want to put a couple in some places. And then, so basically all we need now is a background and then some air particles, which I think would look good. So we're going to the next layer and put the air particles first. So let's go here and grab these particles like this. And then scale, but like that. So we're going to go like this. Some of these will be like that. Some of these will be like that. Some of these will be uh, red, while some of these will be that color. And so they don't feel too clumped up, I'm still going to like run through this and just delete some. Okay, also I want to add... um. I just thought of this now. What if we added like lava like falling down? Here, also, there's like sections like right here is like there's a little area of blocks. I wanna put like a giant glow piece right there. So we just need an intro and an outro. And then a background, like a full background. So we, uh, what do we got? One, two, three. We have three layers, which is actually perfect what I was thinking about doing. What we could do is grabbing this thing. Where is it? These. We could do like something like this. Create edges. Flip like this. And do that. Before like minus 50, and then we'll just keep going down and down. And then we just gotta copy and paste this. And I have a cool background idea we can do with like three layers of this. I feel like some parts are like really empty when it comes to structuring. It kind of like throws off the part a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. That's why. <gasps> Wait, I just had a brilliant idea. Hmm, what if we put like a giant bright glow at the top to indicate like lights or some sort? Hmm, I might just like resort to the big glow thing then I guess. That's the only thing that actually looks semi-good. Yo, I think it might be done besides transitions. But like, bro, low-key this looks sick. And it's finished, finally. Well, with that, I'm gonna run the showcase.